Good evening. You're through to Minx IT Services. How can I help? Okay, no problem at all. I'm sure I can help with that. Please can I have your account number, please? Okay, thank you very much. And can I have your full name and address, please? Right, so you have an issue with your computer. Well, what seems to be the problem? Okay, so you have a message on your screen saying no signal to monitor. When did this happen? Okay, no problem. I'll just open you up a reference number and I'll do some troubleshooting with you if that's okay. Right, just bear with me a second. Just out of interest, how long have you had that computer, by the way? Okay. Right. First things first, can you access all around the computer and the screen? So you've got nothing in the way of you getting around the sides, around the back? No? Okay, fantastic. What I want you to do, uh, next may seem like I'm being silly, but believe me, people do forget to power on the computer, so I will, I will begin. Are there any fans spinning your, in your computer that you can hear? So you can't hear anything at all that's vibrating or anything? Okay. Is your PC plugged in at the wall? You're not sure? Okay, trace the cable from the back of your computer. Uh, no, it'll be the largest one. You know, it's the largest one that goes at the top. It's from the back. Yeah. Yeah, follow that. Yeah. Is that plugged in and turned on at the socket in the wall? So that's plugged in, okay. And it, and it's switched on, is it? Okay. Right. So when you, when you turn your computer on, do you hear any beeps? Since you've noticed your computer's been broken, or is it beeping at all? None? Okay. That's the next thing in, is then, is the monitor cable plugged in at the back of the monitor and then plugged into the, your PC tower at the back? The monitor cable should have two screws either side of the jack where it plugs in. Okay, do you do you have internet access? Yeah, on your phone. Just just bring up Google and type VGA cable. V Victor Golf Alpha cable. And then take a look at the images that come up. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. No rush. Okay, yeah, so you, you can you see those two screws either side of the end of the yeah, so they're pl yeah, that's plugged in, is it? So one in the back of the monitor and one in the back of the computer. Okay, so you have power and your monitor cables are plugged in, that much we know. Is the monitor an actual monitor or does it receive a television signal too? You see, TVs these days have a VGA port in the back, so it's you. Oh, so it's a TV you're using as a monitor. That's fine. On the remote, could you just press the source button? There'll be a, a button that says source, or or whatever button changes from say um, TV to HD, for example. Oh, it, yeah. You know the one? Yeah, just press the source button and make sure the signal input is set to VGA slash PC. So that's set to VGA, is it? Okay. Just wondering, do you have a spare VGA cable in the house at all? Can you try that? Oh, okay. So you already have. Yeah, yeah, sometimes the cables can be faulty. So, that's not the cause. It's starting to look a bit more internal 
as of all the, obviously all the cables are looking okay and you've tried and swapped out the uh, VGA cable as well so what I think we're going to have to do is force a shutdown on your computer so press and hold the power button for 5 seconds and everything should power down yeah it's not going to be good for your computer but in, under the circumstances we've not really got much choice but it'll be fine Make sure you have everything unplugged from your PC, so my keyboards, USB sticks, everything apart from the power and the monitor cables. Yep, okay, and then turn the PC back on and let me know what happens. Still the same? Okay, so we've ruled out potential cabling issue and I don't think your monitor is gone. Force your PC back off, turn it off at the mains, but still leave it plugged in at the wall. But power it off. Now what I want you to do is unplug the monitor cable and hold the power button in for around 30 seconds. What this will do is bleed the excess static away from the capacitors on the main board itself. A little bit technical, didn't really want to go into it that much. but. Yeah, you don't you don't want to zap the compute components because what we're going to do is just take a look inside. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is open the side of the computer. But don't worry, it's harmless. It's very easy to do. Just pop those two clips at the side of the computer and then slide the cover towards the back, away from the panel with the power button. So you're pushing it towards the back of the computer. Yep. Yeah. Slide that off. So if you just turn the computer on its back, on its side, and what you're going to see might look a little bit scary, but don't worry. All I want you to do now is look at the two long chips that are faced perpendicular to the main board. Yeah, can you see them, the little f slices? Yeah, they're called RAM slots. And I need you to look at them and check for any burns or is there any smells coming from that area too? How many ram sticks have you got? Okay, so you've got two. Do they look okay? Ah, right. So the one closest to the middle of the board looks a little burnt. This might be the cause of the problem. Uh, very very common for no signal uh, to monitor it's things like that usually down to the RAM on the main board ok what I want you to do is just press down the, cl the clips at either side of that stick can you see them just push them down with the top of your finger and what they'll do is just move to uh, the one on the right will move more further to the right and of course the one on the left will snap to the left a little bit yep now just gently lift that out try not to touch anything else inside though smashing job now what I want you to do is just pop that uh, computer case back on slide it back in pop the clips yep now what I want you to do is just press that power button course. Take your time. Just remember to put your, your monitor cable and your VGA cable back in. Yeah, just press that power button. Is that coming back on screen? Can you see the Windows startup screen? Ah, fantastic. Fantastic. Now, can you just tell me what the faulty stick says on it and I'll order you a replacement? So it's a 2 gigabyte DDR3 1.866. Okay, I'll order your replacement stick and I can pop that in there when and you can pop that in there when it arrives. But don't worry, I'll send you a little printed guide with it too. 
I'm sorry, what was that? Um, now these things can just happen. Probably just wear and tear as you've had these this computer for quite a few years according to my records and, and from what you told me at the start of the call. Okay. Okay, Miss Stevenson. Is there anything else I can help with you? Help you with, sorry. Okay, no problem. You have a nice day. Bye.